A brief history of plagues and pandemics. Dating back to biblical times, we have known about plagues. Exodus refers to seven plagues, which include water turning to blood, frogs, lice, flies, livestock, pestilence, boils, hail, locust, darkness, and the killing of firstborn children. Today, however, if you mention the word plague, you tend to think of the Black Death of 1347, which ravaged not just Britain, but the whole world. There have been six major plagues throughout history. The plague of Justinian in 541 AD claimed 25 million lives, and records of this type of plague show the symptoms were similar to those of the bubonic plague. The Black Death in 1347, believed to be the bubonic plague, killed over 50 million people in Europe alone in the five years that it ravaged the world. The Great Plague of London in 1665 is not so well known, despite it killing between 75,000 and 100,000 people. The reason why people tend to forget about it is that 1666, just one year later, is the date of the Great Fire of London. Clearly this was not the best of times to be living in the nation's capital. The Great Plagues of Venice in 1629 and Marseille in 1720 killed 280,000 and 100,000 people respectively. One of the least mentioned but still devastating plague existed far more recently than you might have imagined. We tend to associate plagues with the Middle Age, poverty and unsanitary living conditions. Known as the Third Pandemic, this plague started in Yunnan, China in 1855. Sound familiar? But remarkably, it wasn't until 100 years later, in 1950, that the plague eventually died out, but not before killing 15 million people. Plagues come in three forms. First, there is the bubonic plague, whose symptoms include the development of pus-filled buboes in the neck, armpits and groin, that would eventually turn black, hence the term Black Death. Did you know that the Black Death still exists in Madagascar, and that there are outbreaks every year? Pneumonic plagues affect the respiratory system, the lungs, and today's COVID-19 as a pneumonic plague. Finally, there is the septicemic plague, the deadliest of them all, which affects the blood, and which is 100% fatal in all cases if left untreated. There have been 72 cases of the septicemic plague in the USA in the last 50 years, as the plague is carried by rats, prairie dogs, squirrels, chipmunks, rabbits, all favourite animals of Walt Disney, if only he knew the truth. As for the term pandemic, which is very similar to the term epidemic, well this is not a type of disease. A pandemic is simply the description of a disease which has crossed borders and spread widely across multiple countries. An epidemic can be exactly the same disease, but which remains confined to a more local area. Do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and from all of us at History HQ, We'll see you next time.